Hey guys, so today I'm going to be working on installing post-market operating system on the Pine phone. And I wanted to go through the process with you guys to show people how it's done. And in fact, this is my very first time looking at PM Bootstrap. So I'm going to be going through the process with you and feel free to follow along. Okay, the first step to installing post-market operating system is to build our own image and what we're going to do first in order to get this on the Pine phone is we're going to use pip and we're going to install pm bootstrap so pip3 install user pm bootstrap okay we've successfully installed pm bootstrap that was pretty easy now what we're going to do is run pm bootstrap init and we're going to go with the default work path which if you just press enter it and for easy reference I'm going to go ahead and copy that location and save it One of the great benefits of post-market operating system on the Pine phone is it allows you to use Lux encryption. This is the standard for Linux drive encryption and it protects your information and your files and everything else if in case somebody were to get access physically to your drive or phone. We're going to go ahead and press enter for the default edge, the rolling release channel. Now it's asking what is our vendor. What is our vendor? Of course we know our vendor here is Pine64 for the Pine phone. If you're using a different phone, you can select one of the ones that fits you. And what is our code name? Of course it will be the Pine phone. Now it wants to know if it can enable some of the non-free firmware. What this means is not everything just yet is open source available. To provide full functionality, it needs to enable some of the non-free firmware. We're going to go ahead and press Y. We'll go ahead and add a user. We'll go with PMOS for post-market OS. Okay, so now we are given our choices on what we would like our GUI, our graphical user interface. So we have a variety of choices to see here and some of them have varying levels of security. For example, the FOSH only works with numeric passwords. What that would mean is if we feel at risk if somebody has a chance to guess passwords, numeric passwords would be faster to guess than alphanumeric or a mixture of letters, sim symbols, and numbers. So we got to make a little sacrifice. I plan on doing alphanumeric uh, Lux hard drive encryption, so I think I'll go ahead and I want to try Plasma Mobile. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a try this time. So we're going to go with Plasma Mobile. Now this only allows numeric passwords as well. This is an experiment. Now that we have everything ready, we're going to need to select our micro SD card or our drive for installation. I'm going to be using a micro SD card because I want to try out post market operating system before I flash it possibly to my EMMC. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now list my micro SD card name. You can find out your micro SD card device name by running a variety of different commands including and not limited to the DMESG command right after inserting your micro SD card and it should be towards the end of that log so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to issue to install it to my micro SD card and the command I'm gonna use to do that is what we see here at the top which is PM bootstrap install and go ahead and copy this So I have PM bootstrap install dash dash SD card equals slash 
dev slash mmc blk zero for block zero and what that's going to do is go ahead and begin the installation process so I just entered my password and I'm ready to install I have made it up to this point and it will erase all of the data on the disk we had selected earlier on PM Bootstrap init. So now I have to answer if I'm ready to erase it and do the full installation. I'm going to hit Y to continue. And it looks like everything worked out. As you can see at the bottom, it says that the ch root is still active, and we should use the command pm bootstrap shut down. So let's take a look at that. So if we can see that it is indeed still active, you know, right here it is mounted. So let's go ahead and use pm bootstrap and shut down. Now let's double check. And it unmounted everything as well. So now it looks like we have our micro SD card ready to go. Let's go ahead and now that everything is safe, we can take that micro SD card out and pop it in our Pine phone and boot it up for the first time. Okay, we've just finished using PM Bootstrap and we're going to boot up Post Market Operating System for the first time. And all we did was slip in our micro SD card into our Pine phone right after that. And this is what you'll see when you first power it up after finishing flashing everything and preparing your image. We have Plasma Mobile here. This is the Plasma Mobile. Thanks to the KDE community. And keep in mind, I've never used this, so if I'm fumbling around a bit, it's because I've never touched it before. <laughs> it's actually really a smooth experience. Looks like we have cellular service. Let's see if we have sound. It looks like everything looks okay there. Front, left. Front, right. It's very nice, very Front, nice. Left. Now I'm really liking Plasma Mobile. I'm going to be playing around with this a lot more. I'll be doing some more videos on it. Wow, it's even got the gestures. Look at that. Very nice. Like I said, this is my first time trying Plasma Mobile. So I wanted to take a video of the entire installation to the SD card process. It is really nice.